Good morning, everybody. It's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here to show you um, a new digi. And it's this isn't like a real fancy digi because I didn't do um, any collaging or anything. It's sort of like my um, vinegar valentines and those type of digis that I do. I just went and found uh, these purple ladies that I was telling you about um, that I was using in this journal and um, crisped them up a little bit and you know shrunk them down so that they're all kind of the same sort of size cards and um, added a few other things to it but um, so it's not like one of my big kits it's mostly just these ladies so this is the first page there's um, nine per page of you know on this first page nine cards and then this one has seven cards and then we put some stamps some old purple stamps on there those are kind of cool and then the last page is um, like different postcards and um, I think this was a cigarette card with that uh, purple, is it a hair streak butterfly? And a lot of these say happy birthday but you know you could collage over them or put a, something on there and um, if you didn't want that. And then that little drawing of a lady dressed as a butterfly, like a costume of a butterfly. So yeah, that's what it is, and I have just printed this on parchment paper, which is kind of my new favorite, so I really like the way they come out on parchment paper. I can collage with it and, um, you know, fold it for journal pages and all that, and it's, you know, it's kind of nice, and if I want it thicker, I can add it to other papers. So, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I hope you had an awesome weekend. I had a nice weekend. I got a lot of this journal done. I'm not going to um, flip through a bunch of stuff right now because I'll do a flip through in my next video. But um, right now we need to do a journaling card for the ticket page. There needs to be a card for in there. So that's what I thought we could work on. And I'm using my wonderful weight that Michelle gave me. And somebody was asking if it is so heavy to like indent things. And it's really not. I mean, it's heavy enough to like hold your book open, but it's not like excessively heavy or anything so I don't think it would do anything to your pages at all so anyway we're gonna work on that oh I gotta measure that pocket real quick it is about four and a half is what we need four and a half by about two and a half so and it doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be roughly that size so yeah I hope you had an awesome weekend this isn't gonna be like any or shaking new thing so um you know, that's just going to work on the ephemera for this to finish it up. And I should do the flip through tomorrow, Eva, so you can decide if this is the one for you. For sure. I just like to make sure that people, um, oops, what am I doing? This needs to be two and a half this way. I was doing the wrong measurement at the wrong time. Um, yeah, I just like to make sure that people like it. You know, you don't have to get that one if you you know aren't feeling positive that it's the one you like that seems really tiny <laughs> let me see yeah that is really tiny it could have been bigger than that I think I was worried that it would get um, caught in there so I'll save that and I'll use it for, you know, a little tag or something. I'm thinking I can go closer to um, maybe three and a half is what I'm thinking. Turn it this way, Amy. I'm just using my grid on here. I mean, I'm, I assume you guys figured that out, but I just like to tell people what I'm doing. And it could be just a little bit taller, too. And I like these torn edges, but if you don't like the torn edges, then um, go ahead and cut it on your cutter, and that's fine, too. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. It sticks out a tiny bit, but I kind of like that. I might just tear this just so this edge is a little torn, too. And if your book pages like are falling you know a little bit apart because when we do the glue I don't get like every edge and I stitch around a lot of this stuff too so it's not like that big of a deal if there's bad words on here I apologize 
I didn't I didn't read this one so we'll try to get it covered up quick so hopefully it won't be a problem all right what do we want to put on there I got all kinds of stuff that I just have um, in my own stash and scraps and I need to put these back <laughs> they're in my way they were charms that I put along the side of the journal okay, I think I'll use a piece of this this is just um, an old like journal that I found I believe I think this one I got off of um, biodiversity heritage library so yeah I just you know look for stuff that would look cool that's not in the public domain because that's always a problem for those of us that sell things which I get because you know got to pay the artists and the writers and the all those people. A lot of people have been saying since I've been making those um, collage pages that I should turn them into digis and I can't do that because um, those papers and things like this is Medieval Mirage, you know, I use uh, Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts, you know, I use a lot of different artists and so I can't use their papers because they're under copyright. I mean, I can make it and sell it because they allow that but um, I can't make digital downloads of that and, you're, and you can't make copies of that either. So that is just a little FYI because I know it's, it's fun and yeah, it would be awesome, but um, you just can't do that. So be careful when you are thinking of copying stuff because, um, you know, there's always, I mean, if you're doing your own stuff and you're keeping it and that kind of thing it's fine but you don't want to be selling anything that you've copied that isn't in public domain that side's ripped already so I can just tear this and that we should probably do a little um, I always want to say industrial I don't mean industrial but you know it's got all those tickets and things. I could use my <laughs> postmark there. That's an original off of an envelope. It's not a copy. Since I'm talking about copies. <laughs> That'd be bad. Have the post office after me. <laughs> and somebody asked me why I... Um, use like a oh what do you call it avocado dyed um envelope and then cover it all up but uh, it's just sort of part of the what we do i don't know um and i usually always leave like the edges and things like that so i don't pick like my nicest ones um i mean they're all nice but like ones that have designs and stuff on them is what i'm trying to say i try to use ones that um are you know like all pink all and then that way you can still see the edge but um, you know it's just a little more decorated because a lot of people don't want an image in there if or not an image but some you know they want them decorated that's <laughs> what I'm trying to say but I'm doing other things so I can't think and do that at the same time so anyway that's why I do that so sorry if that's frustrating I get I get that, but, um, and of course, if you buy avocado dye, you do it the way you want to do it. I, that's awesome. You know, you don't have to do what I do. I just, I just throw ideas out there and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. That's, that's kind of just how it goes. So. We had crazy bitter cold weather this um, weekend. It was really weird. And last night we had almost like a thunderstorm. I don't know. It's just been cuckoo. We usually don't get those unless, you know, it's hot. 
It was just weird. The wind was just whipping. It was crazy. It's nice today though. The sun's out. I mean, it's cold, but that's doable if the sun's out. All right, so that's kind of what I'm looking at. I forgot to grab a book to glue on because I'm a dingling. Uh, let's turn this upside down. I don't know if this has any bad stuff on it either. Okay, glue. Put this one down first. So yeah, we just kind of had a quiet. We went to dinner with some friends and did some stuff like that, but it was a pretty... This time of the year is a little bit uh, more uneventful for us. I mean, there's always stuff going on every weekend, but um, it's a little less chaotic than the fall. Right now we're starting to get ready for graduation and my niece's wedding and those type of things coming up. I mean, not super soon, but you know, it's all, it'll be here in no time is kind of the thing. Time flies. I might stick this underneath there because I just don't want to see the words. Plus it's a pretty little white flower there. Can't even see it. <clears throat> all that, all that for nothing. That's a little better. And then I think I'm going to use one of the um, purple stamps from the new Digi because those are kind of cool looking. I'm just using my deckel edge scissors, but if you have like something cool that makes more of that stamp effect, I just don't. I think I'm actually, it says 1980 on there, so I'm going to kind of cover up the 80 just so it might look a little older. <laughs> you know, you might think it's a little bit of an older one. These uh, stamps on the parchment paper are kind of cool. They almost feel like stamps. Oops, lid's off already. I yeah. had the worst headache this morning. Ugh. Why I do that on and off? It's annoying. And then maybe we could use one of the ladies, like a littler one. I really like that one in that dark purple. I think I'm going to cut her out. So if you don't like the cutting, zoom on ahead. Hopefully I can make it a little speedy. I just didn't want to, I was going to cut these out last night, but then I was like, you know, I like everybody to see how they come on the page so you know exactly what you're getting rather than, um, you know, having a whole bunch of little things already cut out. I like to leave a little edge around mine. Sometimes I do the full fussy cutting if it's like unavoidable, but um, it just makes it go a lot faster if you, uh, maybe, I say that and then I can't even get around the corner. But you know what I mean? It just, it kind of makes it go a little faster because you're not trying to get in and out of every nook and cranny. But you do it how you like to do it. Plus you can ink around the edges and you don't end up like covering their face with ink because I've done that. So like, I know. Just 
Kind of got a lacy rim around her hat there. So hopefully that wasn't too painful. stuff mailed out this morning so that was nice to get done I don't think I'm gonna go back here okay now we need something to put on the back of that that we can write on so let's see we got I've got lots of pages that I didn't end up using so I'm gonna try to use up as much as I can so that I don't have to put more in the folder. <laughs> kind of mostly want the middle section. I feel like that's all I do is put more. I, you know, every time I make anything then there's scraps. So it's just the nature of the beast, I guess. All right, so I'm going to kind of, I, I want to get a little bit of this. Uh, let's do there. Try to get it straight. I hope everybody's doing well and safe. Um, I just was watching the news this morning and that coronavirus in Italy, I got thinking about Rachel and stuff like that um, at Roxy Creations. And so I just, I hope everybody, you know, not just Rachel, but I hope everybody's okay. It's so scary how that's just kind of gone wild. I mean, they say it's, um, it's kind of like getting the flu, you know, some people die from it, some people don't, but it's just, Kind of scary. We were talking about going on a out-of-country um, cruise or something this summer for my daughter graduating and stuff, but I don't know what to do. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I know you shouldn't put your life on hold and stuff like that, but <laughs> it's I don't want to get stuck on a cruise ship sick or, you know, something just plain stuck on there. So who knows? Just hope they figure it out and get it under control. All right, so that's going to go in our ticket pocket. Right here, and I'll probably stitch around it, but I won't torture you guys with that and it'll stick out just a little bit that's good because then you can see it and grab it and pull it out okay and then um, in the front here I have another pocket this lacy pocket and so I need something to go inside of there I've got to figure out what size that is so I was just making sure it felt tight so oh I know what I wanted to see let me see if this one fits that's uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations that's her um, Victorian fussy cuts I think she calls it she fits in here she's very pretty so it's like an old postcard or something yeah that just fits perfectly in there so I think I'll do that I'm trying to figure out if I want something here I put uh, Medieval Mirage on the back and I'll probably stitch around it That's kind of a tight pocket. I um, backed the lace with, um, what do you call it, book page. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. Get that. And then, you know, glued it down because I couldn't stitch it on there because it would have been way too tight. I'm looking for my butterflies. Hold on. Well, they're not my butterflies, they're Rachel's butterflies, but a butterfly has that. 
kind of need a little bit of a smaller one here. I'll pull these up here. Could use a doily on there. That one's too, too blue. I have to turn those and I can ink it and then it won't be so stark. This one got folded in half at some point. And the butterfly. Let me ink this a little bit and see what it looks like. I could do it like that, uh, but then it's going to cover that up. Yeah, I guess we won't do that. I'll just do half of it, but try to get an idea here. So I'm going to ink it. I'm going to use the brush. Just to take it down a bit. It's a little bit, wow. And then I'll put some lace at the top for like, you know, a tag. Oh, this one's already in half. I think I like that better. Because it's white, you know, you gotta get that edge or it just doesn't look like anything. And I'm probably gonna trim it because I tore it obviously the last time. Yeah, I think I want it cleaner, so. The edge of that um, postcard was so cool because it was all uneven and stuff. I actually like that when they're, you know, that makes them look older. Alright, so I'm going to stitch around that and put some lace at the top. So I'm not going to do anything else to that one. And then we need one for this back pocket as well. Let's see. That is, we'll do three and a half, and it doesn't really matter, I guess, how tall it is, but just, duh, it's a square me. <laughs> oh, three and a half by three and a half. Okay, so I have this piece of collage that I made on one of those big sheets. And I like this little birdie. It looks kind of cool on here. That one's not very tall though is the only thing. I guess it's four and a half. It would stick out the top. So maybe I'll do that and then I have another idea, but I want to put something under the birdie. Use this from Jamie. 
Thank you, Jamie. This is a good layering fabric. It does not rip, though. You are correct. So I'm just kind of jaggedy cutting it because I don't want it um, a perfect... Well, I can't cut a perfect straight line even if I try, so don't have to worry about that. sure if that looks like too new. Take some threads out of it or something. I was watching um, Carol Law. Oh my goodness, Carol, your journals are just beautiful. Um, I mean, I've seen her journals before. They are fabulous, but I kind of stole a couple of her ideas, and I'll show you when I do a flip through, because I'll, you know, definitely want to give her credit. She does beautiful work. This would probably be good. Um, coffee dyed. I think you said that, Jamie, that you coffee dyed it or tea dyed it or something and it comes out cool. That would probably be very good. But yeah, if you haven't checked her out, definitely do that. And definitely check out my design team. There are just some great ladies on my design team. Um, I have Allie, the Cockney Crafter. She's working on a journal using uh, my Digi and um, Denise's Digi. And then, of course, Denise at Wonderbar Crafts. And Dee Dee Farrago is also on my design team. She just made a really awesome journal. I don't think she's done the flip through yet, but. Um, and like a wine bottle, like a, what would you call that? Mixed media type art piece. And it turned out, I mean, that's cool. It was a really cool idea. And um, Sammy Jared, and I think her and Dee Dee are going to next make journals and swap them with each other. So that's that'll be fun. And uh, Rachel Roxy Creations, who probably a lot of you already watch, but um, she just did a beautiful winter with the Winter Wonder, my Winter Wonder Digi, if you haven't seen that. Uh, she did a flip through of that. Uh, it's been almost a week now, I think, but just super talented ladies. I really appreciate them so much. They work so hard. And then Gail Augustinelli is kind of like my design on my design team, but not. <laughs> I mean, she's not because she doesn't want to do the design team thing anymore, but she shows my digis because she's such a kind, amazing lady. And um, she used my Valentine digi and made a Valentine journal, which was beautiful. Just, just wonderful ladies out there. I mean, the whole junk journaling community that I've met anyway, just amazing ladies. All so kind and generous and nice and fabulous. So, um, I'll stitch. I think I'm going to actually end up stitching around this too, just to give it, you know, so it looks a little bit better because it kind of sticks up a little bit. But, um, there's, oh wait, I got to ink around that. This one's already backed. So I'm going to have to back that one. So we're moving along pretty good today. I'm excited to do the flip through of this journal because I think it came out pretty nice. I like it. I love purple, so that helps, but I know it's not for everybody. But So um, this is Medieval Mirage. This is one of her uh, pockets that come in her Digi. Uh, Sweet Serenity is the one that I'm using, and I'm using the regular Sweet Serenity Digi and the add-on, both. 
because the add-on has more of the things like this. I think this is in the add-on. So, um, and then the regular Sweet Serenity has more of the pages. So, but she, she's always got like some envelopes and stuff, even in the one with just the pages. So it's not like you're not going to get any. Her kits are huge. So you get lots of stuff. I mean, I, that's why I don't print them out and show you every page because I just can't do that with the cost of paper and ink and you know all those kind of things so I and especially if I'm not going to use every piece then it's kind of pointless I try to just print out what I need so anyhow that's that this is kind of pretty it's a piece of sorry silk uh, I don't really like the color though Look at that. the design on it was pretty and um, maybe we need like I don't know what we need this is one of her stamps. That one's cool. Medieval Mirage stamps. Oh, Gail's trims might be kind of neat. I don't know that pink. I don't know if that, that doesn't really go, does it? Hmm. Oh, music paper wouldn't be bad either. Since she's got her little ballet shoes on. This one I didn't put in the kit, or the purple kit. She was from a different group of, well, she wasn't even in a group, but, you know, a different um, set of images. So, I just... I just did the those ladies that are all sort of similar looking. So, yeah. And I could stamp that. Okay, let me get those inked and glued down, and then I'll stamp that. Stamp the stamp. But there's a lot of ephemera in um, Joff's kits. I mean, there's stamps and envelopes and these kind of pockets and journaling cards and I mean, you could easily if you don't like um, you know, making all your own pieces or whatever, you could totally make a journal with one of her kits without you know, a whole ton of decorating and stuff because she has already done it for you so they're pretty amazing. It's just I like collaging obviously and all that so I do it but you could totally do it without. She even does covers and all kinds of stuff so beautiful work as I've said lots of times but can't stress enough that she just does an amazing job. stamp on there. Just gonna kinda turn it like that. And we'll stamp it. And these are the stamps. It's crafty individual. Uh, they're made in England. And I'm not sure what this one's called. I don't know, but it's all the postage type things. 
so I got it on Amazon. I'll try to remember to link it, but as you all probably know, I always forget something <laughs> like it never fails. I think, okay, now I've got everything on there <laughs> that I need to have on there, and somebody's like, where'd you get the, <laughs> could you put a link? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> got that one. <sighs> I don't even need the block. Um, yeah, so, sorry, Jitsi. I think I got it, and I don't. Okay. That looks cute. She just, her, the color of her dress was like, I mean, I didn't make it like that. That's the way that the image was. I couldn't believe it. Oops, I keep going off the edge. Where's my deal? <laughs> Okay, and this has some journaling cards that will fit in there, but I don't think I left them out here. I don't know what I did. So I'll find those and I'll put them in there that are already printed, and you'll see them when we do the flip through. But I'm going to go ahead and glue this shut. And I did this just on the parchment paper as well. And this glue is art glitter glue and it has the metal tip. Now, I mean, I have found it on there. Oh, and the tear rulers. I forgot to tell you guys. I did find them again, and a lot of people sent me links to those, and thank you so much for doing that. I don't know what was going on that day, but I literally looked through. I put in tear rulers. Usually it pops right up with the We Are Memory Keeper ones. I put in We Are Memory Keeper rulers. I put in everything I could possibly think of. I looked at every ruler in the place, and in Amazon. I don't know what if it was my computer. I don't know what was going on, but it would not pull those up for me. That's why I thought they were gone. But then the next day I went and tried it again. Popped right up. So I don't know. That was really weird. So you guys are probably thinking she's lost her marbles. Because they're right here. <laughs> it's like, no, I swear. I looked everywhere for them and could not find them anywhere. Okay, so I want to do something with one of these that Jamie sent me. Thank you so much, Jamie. That was super kind of you. Sent me some beautiful, beautiful things. And I was thinking um, to make a pocket out of, this is the paper that I use to go on the uh, inside of the book. So I just thought it might be kind of fun to make a pocket and back it just for a little strength. Because, you know, Rolodex cards, I mean, they work fine as a pocket. I just wanted to give it a little more heft, I guess you'd say. So my pages are about five and a half or so, so I'm just going to do like a four and a half. And I'm going to tear off the other side so it'll be a little less than four and a half because I want that torn look. Trying to get this as straight as I possibly can because I don't want it all wonky. Technical term, you know. Oh, I guess I don't even need it that big anyway. That's, well, we'll do that when we rip the top. Just really got to hold that paper down, man. I still got it a little bowed. Especially thick paper. Thin paper tears super easy and you just right through it, but the thick stuff is a little different. Okay. Yeah, something like that, just to give it some more body. And I'll probably stitch it onto that pocket too. And Jamie does have a YouTube channel, which I will uh, list. I can't remember if I did that the last time, Jamie. I'm sorry. I stink at that, man. I think I have it, and I always forget stuff. 
but I will definitely try to do that. She said she's going to start making videos again. She um, sort of hasn't for a while, you know, made current ones, but I mean, she's got videos up. So, um, yeah, but we all know how life goes. Kind of like this uh, script because the writing is tiny, tiny, tiny. I'll just use like a piece of that over there. And I'm not going to worry, I'm not going to cover those entirely, but if I cover them a little bit, I'm not worried about it because, you know, it does have the background. So, um, I think I'll glue that on there. I mean, I'm going to stitch around it too. But. And I'm not going to cover it entirely. I need to do it a little bit down here just to make sure these stay down. Yeah, my friend that um, went out to dinner with the other night, she had gone to Minnesota and she brought me back two really cool old cards. They're these, they kind of look like the vintage Valentines that I have. And my vintage Valentines are big like this. It's just I shrunk them down because, you know, you can't really use that in a journal. But they're both different, but they're from teachers to a student. And it's Alfred Wilhelm or something like that. But, um, yeah, I thought those were beautiful. That was so nice of her to bring those back. So I'm going to make her a little thank you something. Butterfly. Sorry, I'm just looking through junk here. I think I'm going to just take a portion of this. Kind of like the other colors and the rose and all that. I'm just trying to tear the tiniest little bit off of this side over here, which is always hard to do in this direction. I don't know what that's about, but. Around the butterfly. How long have we been gone? 43. Alright. Now we need paper. stamp something on the back of there. <laughs> Ugh, glue strings. I don't want to see that iridescent part there. So, uh, I want to cover up. Well, shoot. Now you can't tell it's a Rolodex card and I covered up all the that. Oh. See the Rolodex. All right, so there's that, and that will be a pocket in the journal. And I, um, this is in Medieval Mirage. This little, 
I mean, I don't know if it was meant to be two little cards, but I kind of, they were connected. So I just turned it into a little book and I backed it with some of the Sweet Serenity rose paper and that's another little piece there. And then I just put in some um, Kool-Aid dyed paper that I made a long time ago and some tea dyed paper. So it's just like a little booklet and I thought that would be cute inside of there. And then I'll probably put a little something else inside of there as well. So let me see, let's put these things in here. I've got this, it's got to get its lace sewn on and stuff, but I'm just trying to make sure I have everything. That one goes in there. And then these will get stitched around as well, but they're going to go in here. And I'm also going to put her in here, I think. And then where should we put that? I'm trying to think. Trying to see which um, signature needs more stuff. I tried to make them pretty even, so they should be fairly even. I'm thinking it's this first one. Do I have? I'm going to have to do that. But we can put it back here further. We can put it on our music page. Oh, I need to stitch around that first. All right. So I think I'm going to let you guys go there. And then probably the next time we get together, I'll do a flip through of this journal. So we'll chat again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.